This is a training video to show how to submit a VAT return from Sidra Stratus Exedra through to HMRC. First we'll look at the whole page very quickly and then go through it more slowly and in more detail but only looking at part of the screen at the time. So here we go. OK, so here we have the VAT return with the digital links through to the accounting system. Uh, there is another video which looks in more detail at how to create digital links to link various bits of data from computer systems or spreadsheets so that you get a final summary sheet. But in the end, we end up with a final summary sheet. And there are then three ways in which that information can be passed to the web server. Uh, one is an automated dig digital link using the clipboard and more recently HMRC have said that as long as any use of the clipboard is automated, as it is in this instance, that can be used. Then there is saving a comma separated variables file, a CSV file, and loading that into the page or saving a comma separated variables file and transferring that through drag and drop to the web page. So there are three different ways we can do it. We'll look at it with the um, use of the clipboard for the moment. So we prepare the um, information <coughs> in the uh, spreadsheet and then load the web page up. And as you can see, the values appear on, on the web page automatically converted from the spreadsheet. And if I, if I take it so that we get down all of the web page to see on the screen. There we go. Uh, and the bottom of it as well to come up. There it is. Uh, you can see how all the figures have transferred through automatically just by clicking onto the page. We then need to decide um, what period we're going to use. And we've got two periods here. So we pick the period we're going to submit for. When the page loads up, it, all, it contacts the HMRC computer system and it asks what obligations there are for this particular VAT number and then it loads those up so you can pick which one is out, which one outstanding VAT return you need to send. Then we have an issue of a secret authorization code um, and that's where it sends a code to something else, be your mobile phone or a landline. In this instance I'm using a telegram message which is quite like um, WhatsApp the difference being that you're allowed to attach computers to Telegram and you're not allowed to attach computers to WhatsApp. So we click on there. That then sends a code to my mobile phone, which you can't see, of course. And I read my mobile phone and type in the code off that. And then we, um, remembering, of course, the fact that uh, this is a formal submission, we then submit that information to HMRC and we get from HMRC the information that returns and then if we want to we can then go and see what has been submitted to HMRC uh, on a different page that again uses an API so it looks up the, that, that return and sees what information has been submitted it also saves a copy of the information that came back from HMRC just in case is that some news to you now that's how it's done using a um, transfer using the clipboard, an automated link that way. Uh, it's also possible to upload onto the, onto the VAT return uh, either using drag and drop or picking a file. So we can go into here. This is a file that's created. As you can see, different figures have appeared. Um, that, that file is one that's been saved by a spreadsheet. Again, we go into that some detail in how to save files from spreadsheets in a separate video about digital links. But we can look at it very quickly here. It's basically save as. And you, you at the bottom of the um, thing, you have various options here as to different types of CSV files to use. Um, CSV UTF-8. The other ones you can't see on the screen because it goes down out of the window of the video. So that's another way of doing it. And as I said, the third way of dealing with it is in fact drag and drop, where you click on the file that you want to transfer into the web page and simply drag it across the page. I'll, I'll see if I can set that one up just now. 
So now we can look at drag and drop. You see the figures here on, on, the, on the web page. And if we click on a file and bring it to the web page, the figures are then changed. So those are the three ways that information can be transferred into the web page to be submitted to HMRC. And we have another video which looks at digital links, which explains in some detail how you can create digital links and how you can save CSV files so those can be uploaded either through um, file and choosing a file and uploading it or through drag and drop and obviously there is also the use of the clipboard which is now allowed by HMRC as long as the digital link with the clipboard is automated.